Tackling drug abuse. That was the big topic today. Our Elise Corville is here with what's being done right here in our neighborhood. Elise. The state has had a couple of tough years from hurricanes to floods to freezes the, and the coronavirus slammed our state. But another crisis also continues to harm our communities in the middle of lockdowns and job losses. The opioid epidemic only got a lot worse. By the end of this epidemic, and we don't know when the end will be, it will have killed more people than anything else. The opioid addiction and overdose crisis touches every state in the nation, but Louisiana is especially hard hit. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter what your religion is. It doesn't matter if you're wealthy or you're poor. It can affect you. East Baton Rouge Parish Coroner Dr. Bo Clark says all indicators, whether it's addiction to opioid medications, overdose deaths, emergency room admissions, and overprescribing are evidence of the problem. I would like to say that we're, uh, you know, we've gotten to the top of the uh, of the curve and we're coming down, but it, it certainly doesn't appear that way. Though the pandemic may have intensified the state's drug problem, it did not create it. Drug abuse has plagued Louisiana for years, and opioids have played a major role, leading to countless deaths. In East Baton Rouge Parish alone, the coroner's office investigated nearly 300 overdose deaths in 2022. Of all overdose deaths in 2021, 93% were due to some type of opioid and 88% were linked to fentanyl. The fact that uh, we now transitioned from a heroin environment to a fentanyl environment and then transitioned from a fentanyl environment with fentanyl being adulterated into other drugs like methamphetamine, cocaine and marijuana. Uh, you often wonder what's next on the horizon. Fentanyl is the leading cause of drug overdoses. It is a synthetic opioid that is at least 50 to 100 times more potent than morphine. We are finding uh, marijuana is now becoming laced with fentanyl, and we see that fentanyl being such a dangerous drug, it can lead to overdose and death. To curb an ongoing crisis, Dr. Clark says it will take a multifaceted approach. He says it will require health care officials and legal analysts to change the state's future when it comes to the opioid crisis. We need to have an environment uh, that when the bad guys or the drug dealers sell this drug, uh, that it, when they get in trouble or, or you know, with the police or law enforcement, uh, that there, is, there are consequences. And those consequences, of course, uh, mean we save lives. And to put things into perspective, the state, I mean, I'm sorry, they have already been over 20 deaths since the beginning of 2023. That's over 20 deaths in just a month. All right, Elise, thank you. Such Parish Public Schools are hoping to get its funding renewed and they're reaching out to you. Starting next week, the school system will host a